welcome back guys half fast 719 I'm gonna go a different route I think I'm gonna go with a lift kit on this truck do about a 8 inch lift in the front I'll keep the wheels and I'll just do like some 40 inch 40 inch tall tires because I found some 40 inch tall tires for uh, practically nothing so I got it jacked up just to see what it would look like and uh, I ain't changing plans people anyway got you guys got it jacked up because I'm gonna be doing uh, some smus mention parts so as you can see right down in there I try to see we can show you right in there maybe oh where is it even at gotta find it I don't know where it's at but it's it's right there so we have that thing's blown So those ball joints blown. This one over here. Shot, shot, shot. You can see that thing. I think you can see it. So that's not supposed to be like that. That one's not supposed to be like that. So Got it in the air. Did a bunch of crap. Put these mounts on here. I think I'm gonna have to take these bolts off. Do something different here. This is just a mock up. Stacked a bunch of stupid things in there. And uh, yeah, those will be coming out. Oh boy. Um, got the AC lines ran. The way I want to run them so we got the AC lines right there condenser I'm gonna see if I can't find a smaller condenser look at that bow could almost shoot a deer with that bow um, anyway got this air dryer whatever you want to call these things I got it hooked up all new o-rings uh, I didn't do no rings in here though I will have to do O-rings in there. Um, but yeah, I got the wire harness a little bit cleaned up. Like I said, I'm going to have to go get some smaller loom. Um, but I'd messed with this this morning quite a bit, trying to get these lines ran, the AC lines and the condenser. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can't find a obviously a smaller condenser that will fit inside here inside this opening from there to there and uh, it looks like that maybe somebody when they did the Camaro swap because the old chassis has a like an 80s Camaro motor in it looks like they had cut this notch there and cut a notch there for something I don't know what it is so anywho um yeah I'll, I'm gonna take all this off take the wheels off and yeah gotta get some wire loom for in here this wire loom there gotta attach this up there and do some other stuff look at them headers so mainly I just wanted to get them out here take this wheel and tire off and stick that air shock in there so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna take this wheel off real quick and uh, 
yeah, basically, just go from there. You guys want to watch? Sure, let's watch. Well, it looks like it should work. Oh, got the hole there. And then uh, we'll have to drill a hole up for this upper mount. And it'll basically ride right there. Like this. I just don't know if I can turn the body or not. Because I don't like sits there. Mm, doesn't look like it. Cause I don't know if uh, something's gonna hit that line. You can turn it around. Nope. Looks like it'll probably hit that too. Anyway, um, I'm getting all greasy and I gotta go eat. So let me get all this tore apart after I eat. Take this whole uh, knuckle off and uh, start changing parts. Uh, I really want to try to change the axles too. I'm going to go see if I can't find some axles for this truck. Real quick on the AutoZone. Maybe I'll take a trip to the AutoZone buy some axles. I think it's just six bolts back there. This nut, once I pull this whole thing off, um, we should be good. Probably, it'll probably need brake pads. 
rotors eventually but uh, that I can do with all the suspension components on it anyway uh, yeah I gotta go eat so uh, I'll be back show you guys what it's what I'm turning apart we'll just do a high-speed fast video of everything being taken apart because you got to drill or cut these rivets off then the new one comes with bolts and I might play with the camber a little bit if I can all right it is the following morning uh, got all the knuckles off what a mess so uh, got I think one issue, the idler arm is different, like I had thought, but I had also thought that the idler arm wasn't going to be different. But anyway, so uh, yeah, this is a new ball joint here. When I first got the, the 91 Chevy truck, I put that on there because the whole front wheel was wobbling so I'm gonna take these lower ones off the lo oh that's also so these lower ones are uh, bolt on as you can see bolt on and these ones are some type of press in so those are wrong and that's the idler arm this is supposed to look like this, but it doesn't. So, um, these upper upper A arms or upper ball joints look about right. So, and then uh, sway bar in links. I got the axles out. Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a mess, it's nasty, CV axles were blown, so I got the axles out, oh, man, oh, man, um, it was a pain in the butt to get that pitman arm off, so there's the CV axles, right here, um, this one looks newer here. This one. This one's got this little. I don't know. Whatever that's called. Little sleeve on it. This one doesn't. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm <laughs> torn between either buying them off of AutoZone. They're $84 a piece. Or should I try to buy buy them on eBay for a hundred and twenty bucks for a set? Uh, you guys tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards the AutoZone because it's eighty four dollars, and if you order them online, which I probably will do, it's twenty percent off plus pr free shipping. Not sponsored by those guys, but anyway, just telling you guys what they what they have to offer right now. And uh, I don't know what's twenty percent off. Eighty. So is that sixteen bucks? So eight bucks is ten percent. Sixteen bucks. So eighty four minus sixteen. Seventy something. One forty. One thirty. Yeah. Maybe I'll just get them from the order them from the AutoZone. So uh, I'm gonna try to go to AutoZone this morning and see if they got lower ball joints, lower ball joints and idler idler arm. But as you can see, it's just a big old mess, messy mess. Um, I kind of want to just jack the truck up uh, on the jack wheel it out and move this steel 
and get the pressure washer out. But I don't know. Right now, I'm just going to go on a bicycle ride. And maybe I can clear my brain. Get motivated. But as of right now, that Pitman arm beat me up. <coughs> um, that Pitman arm was a... All, pit, all Pitman arms are a pain in the butt when they're on there from the factory. Um, what I ended up using was a pulley puller um, that I got for my swamp cooler. I just put it on there, put some tension on it, and then uh, would tap it with a hammer and a chisel. And then I put more tension on it, hit it with a hammer and a chisel, and then more tension, and then it popped. So, um, I didn't go too crazy on this. I only, I want to say I only put about maybe 50, 50 to 75 foot pounds of torque on it. Um, but yeah. Tell you what I am going to do though today is, regardless of what I do, <laughs> I'm going to clean this and I got to clean the ground. It's a mess. I already tracked some grease in the house. On the carpet which sucks because I can't get it out I could probably get it out with some brake clean but anyway that's gonna be it for this video guys um, like I said I'm gonna take the 24 inch cruiser for a cruise now that I got brakes and everything on it just gonna go ride for about I don't know maybe a half hour to an hour lose some weight but all right guys that's it Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do what you guys do. Thank you for subscribing. Um, that's it. Later, guys.